All right, I'd like to call this meeting of the West Dallas West Milwaukee School District to order, please. If you could please rise for the pledge. And uh, Mr. Sickage, would you please lead us? Certainly. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Suzette, could you do the roll, please? Yes. Mr. Yustra. Here. Mr. Keller. Here. Mr. Schultz. Present. Mr. Sickich. Present. Mr. Lee is excused. Mr. Bailey is excused. Ms. Kluf. Here. And Mrs. Justum is excused, may arrive a little late. And President Emmons. Here. Proper notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the open meeting laws of the state of Wisconsin. Uh, do we have any uh, additions or modifications to tonight's agenda? No. Nope. Nope. Any board members? No. Nope. Okay. All right, we're going to public comments, and we have no public comments this evening, so we'll then go on to item number seven, the superintendent's report, played tonight by Deidre. Good evening, everyone. Um, so in response to the public comments that were made at the last board meeting, a written response was sent to those individuals as well, um, but we wanted to make sure we acknowledge those comments publicly um, as part of our board record tonight, which um, the response indicated that we do need to have an ad hoc committee assigned by statute that does have the same requirements as one of the people indicated. We have not actually made any curricular recommendations to change that curriculum just yet. That was intended to come forward as a second step. So that committee will be make sure to be put in place before those curricular recommendations come forward towards the end of August. Um, and we are working to make sure that we have some additional parent notifications on exactly what the parents' rights are when it comes to health and what their options are to opt out, as well as starting to get some um, of our own school nurses as well as our public health department to start advising uh, on some of the updates to the health data and all of those pieces to make sure all of that is accurate in our current materials. So that's the update on that one. Um, in the legislative report, there is one line item um, for the 2019 excuse me, 2019-2021 state biennial budget. On July 3rd, 2019, Governor Evers signed AB 56, the 2019 to 21 state biennial, biennial budget into law as 2019 Act 9 with partial vetoes. In this approved budget, additional revenue was granted to districts in the form of per pupil categorical aid. So what that means for us in West Dallas, West Milwaukee, is that the new per pupil value equates to $516,453 in additional revenue for us this year, for next year. Also, while year end is still weeks away from being wrapped up, it's looking very promising with a projected surplus of about $2 million at this year's end. This is gonna allow us to prepay Fund 38 while still contributing to our expected $500,000 to fund balance this year. It puts more spendable dollars back into our 1920 budget. So that was good news for us in the update. Um, our district rec recognitions, the communications department wants to recognize Tess Thomas, our communications specialist. She created a new format for our monthly district newsletter. The newsletter goes to over 8,737 recipients and has an open rate of 39.6%. The average industry open rate at constant contact email for education is 24.03%. Um, so that's a really high rate of return on families actually opening that document and reading our information. So congrats to Tess on the reformatting of that. Um, our Recreation and Community Service Department would like to recognize and thank the entire Recreation and Community Services Department for their leadership in planning, coordinating, and executing the City of West Dallas. July 2nd, 2019, Independence Day Parade and Festival. Thousands lined the streets during the parade and filled Veterans Park during the festival. Shared Journeys um, would like to note that 15 Coles employees came to Shared Journeys to help paint the student-designated coffee kiosk area. Shared Journeys was also awarded three Coles grants, which will help them to finish up the project. Lisa Kala attended the National Charter School Conference and collaborated with other educators from across our country. An Eagle Scout and West Dallas resident, Devin Pollock, is collaborating with Shared Journeys and his fellow scouts to complete their Eagle Scout service project. They are building benches inside and outside the building. They are building a wooden foot, uh, excuse me, a wooden food pantry that will sit next to the free book library. Canned goods will be stored for free distribution there. And West Milwaukee Intermediate School wants to recognize that on July 15th and 16th, over 300 intermediate students and their teachers visited the Science Curiosity Camp 
at West Milwaukee Intermediate School, featuring a visit to the Millipore Sigma Curiosity Cube. The cube is 20 by 10 feet, retrofitted shipping container that has been transformed into a mobile science lab. The project was coordinated by gifted and talented teacher Jennifer Statza. Um, and it was quite the event if you were able to see it on our social media. The students, it was a portable science lab and students were able to come in and investigate some virtual reality tools, some chemistry things, ask a <coughs> ton of investigative questions around science. So it was a pretty neat event for us. And that is it. Yeah. Awesome, great. Okay, we will move on to the board presence report. We'll take a look at the board calendar. Uh, so today is Monday, July 22nd. We have a regular Board of Education meeting. Immediately following that, we will have a workshop on benefits review and other post-employee benefits. Our next regular scheduled Board of Education meeting is on Monday, August 12th, beginning at 6 p.m. After that, on August 19th, also beginning at 6 p.m., we will have a workshop on the new Recreation Center construction update. And if you've driven by there recently, you've seen all the land moving around. It looks pretty awesome. And then on August 26th at 6 p.m., we have a regular Board of Education meeting. Do any board members have any community updates? Anything to share? Jeff? Not an <coughs> update, but I'd like to give a shout out to the uh, Knights of Columbus West Dallas Council 3095 for donating their sign from their old building to West Dallas Central. Central oh, now has oh. a digital uh, sign and they've got all the working so they can put everything they want from inside the building. They don't have to go outside. And uh, pretty nice of the Knights of Columbus to do that because they're great. incurring the costs. Great, that's be a nice addition. Anybody, anything else? All right, then we will move on to tonight's the consent agenda. We have item four items on the consent agenda this evening. Item 9.1, the approval of minutes from the July 8th, 2019 regular Board of Education meeting. Item 9.2, the employment summary. Item 9.3, the supplementary contracts. And item 9.4, the financial summary. I would like to request that item 9.3 be separated out. Do any other board members have any other requests for a separation? If not, we would look for a motion on item 9.1, 9.2, and 9.4. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any additional comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, and then we have item 9.3, which is the supplementary contracts. Um, I just had this pulled just for uh, separation because there was a, a question on something, so we just wanted to have that, that out. Any other comments or questions on 9.3? If not, we'd look for a motion. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any additional comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. All right, and that is actually the end of our meet of our meeting today. And then we will take a quick little break so we can get ready for our workshop on financial stability and efficiency, benefit review, and other post-employee benefits. We are at a five-minute recess. <laughs> 